Hello, my name is Mike. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create and edit service requests. Let's begin by navigating to the Service Requests screen. I'm signed in as a service agent who has the required permissions to create service requests. Now, let's go ahead and create one. I'll enter the details of the service request based on my current call with the customer. First, I'll enter a meaningful title. Next, I'll specify the account. Notice that once the account is selected, if I click the drop-down list for primary contact, only contacts for that account are listed. Since this is a pretty urgent issue for the customer, I'll set the severity accordingly. Because it's a server-related issue, I'll select the Servers category. Now I'll add a brief description of the problem. I can add more details later when I get more information. Finally, I need to identify the product at the center of the problem. If I know the name of the product, I can enter it here and search for it, or I can browse through the hierarchy to find it. Those are all the details I'm going to enter right now. I'm all done. Notice that a confirmation dialog appears once the service request is created. Here's a tip. If you're viewing a contact, you can just click the Service Request tab to create a new SR. The advantage of creating a service request this way is that the account and primary contact fields are automatically populated. Since I've already created my service request, I'll cancel this and navigate back to the Open Service Request list. I see that there's another high-priority server issue here. This request is within my area of expertise, so I'll take ownership. Notice that the Assigned To field is now populated with my name. I want to keep the sales administrator for this account up to date on this service request, so I'll click the Team tab and add him. First, I'll click Add Team Members. I know the sales administrator's name, so I will search for and select him. Now I'll use a smart text entry that I created to add a note to this SR explaining why I took ownership. I'll choose to compose an internal note so only my internal colleagues who have access to this SR can see this message. Then, all I need to do is enter the number sign and then type or select the smart text entry name from the list. I'll just quickly review this to make sure that it's correct. Yeah, this looks good. Notice that the note appears in the list of messages. Anyone who has access to this SR can see this internal note. Finally, I'll respond to the customer by email to update him on his SR status. Notice that the primary contact is added automatically, but you can also add others if you want. Now, here's my quick message to the customer. That looks good. I'm ready to send the update. All right, I'm all done updating this SR. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.